Welcome to the Outlook 2010 video on managing your contacts. Another really great feature in Microsoft Outlook is our contacts or what other people refer to as an Our Address Book. To access this section of Outlook, click on your Contacts button and from here you'd be able to view a list of all the contacts in your address book. These are populated in the following ways. You can either manually add them when you receive an email from someone, you can right click that email and add them to your address book. Or if you are using a Microsoft Exchange account, all the contact people on your mobile device or your cellular telephone, if you've synced them to your Microsoft Exchange account, will automatically sync to your address book on your Microsoft Outlook, which is really nice in terms of syncing contacts across the board. Now let's have a look at some of the menu items. If I would like to create a new contact, I click on New and I can fill in all the information about that particular contact in terms of details, um, even to go as far as certificates, activities, um, business card pictures, and I can categorize them as well. So that's one way of adding a contact. You can also choose something called a new contact group, which allows you to group your contacts by groups. So for example, if you've got 20,000 people in the marketing department, you can then choose to add them to a group called marketing group. You've got your communicate button, which allows you to do emails, meetings, assign tasks and journal entries to particular contacts. You've also got how you view your contact list. And in this case, you can choose to view it by business card, to view it by cards, by phones or by list. A mail merge is basically an automated formal letter or email that can be sent to all your contacts at one given point. Very similar to the mail merge that is used in Microsoft Word. You can choose to share your contacts, open shared contacts, as well as tag, follow up and privatize each particular contact, which is really useful. Let's go back to our mail and let me show you how we add a contact. If you've got a particular email address, you can right click and you've got various sections you can go through, your categorize, your follow ups, assign policy, quick steps. You can also choose to move it to a particular folder, your rules, and then you can move it to ignore it, junk or delete it. If I drag this email down to my contacts, it will automatically set up as much information as it possibly can and allow me to automatically save it as this particular contact using the email signature information inside of the email. So it kind of pre-populates everything for you.